Why is that there? It's like a staircase to nowhere. Where am I? The Winchester Mansion? What the hell? How are you doing, YouTube? And welcome to episode 14 of RandoCraft, my modded Minecraft single-player series where I do random things. Now, I don't know if you guys are as tired as I am of hearing these two constantly gibbering during my videos, and I could necessarily keep them in these golden lassos, but I really want to keep those available for when I find animals that I want to tame for later. And one of my friends gave me an idea. Months ago, he asked me to make a house in the nether over there. And I thought that, that idea was just crazy enough it could work. So I am going to go upstairs and don my armor, and we are going to traverse the nether to see what kind of materials I can make a house out of. And of course I forget to turn my shaders off before I get here. I probably should put my wings on so I don't take fall damage. Also, I have added the baubles mod, which means I can actually install my wings over here without having to take my chest armor off, which is fantastic. So now I will be fully protected and I can wear my wings at the same time. Hold still yet. There we go. Got it. Oh my god. Why couldn't I fly? Get me out. Get me out. Well, at least I got out. Okay, let's see what the problem is. I can't fly. For some reason, I can't fly. Hang on. Oh, I need to press Q to fly. Thought I had to press R. That is really peculiar. Well, now that I know how to fly, hopefully we won't have a repeat of, um, what just happened. So now that I actually know how to fly, the XP is still here, yay! And the blaze rod, yes! Now, what would be some cool materials to build a house out of? Ooh, those glow shrooms over there look enticing. Wouldn't build a house out of these things, but uh, these would make nice decorate. Whoa! These things killed me last time, I remember. Yeah, these really- these translucent glow shrooms would be a great decorate- decorative- decorative- I Excuse me. So now I am on the hunt for glow shrooms. Ooh! Hello, good sir! Die! Oh my god, he's harder to kill! Yes, hearts of fire! I want to be able to make the fairy horses sometime later. Oh my god, what just hit me? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, there's... There's like three of these things! Is there a spawner nearby? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I am so going to die! How did I... Oh, they hit me. Okay, well... I do not understand how I am dying so easily. This is so embarrassing! Let's try a different way this time. Like, how about over here? And here's a blue glow shroom. I think they only come in like three colors. Purple, green, and blue. Ah, he's wearing a crown! He must be the king of the zombie pigmen. I must come back here later to negotiate for use of his land. He's probably gonna tax me out of the ass, but um... It's another creeper! Die! Oh wow, he almost really... He almost really blew me up there. Oh my gosh! Manticore! Do I got an egg? Do I get an egg? No. No egg. Cheapskate! I'm going to take some of this glowstone, because why not? Can never have too much glowstone. As a matter of fact, I can use this to light up the house I'm going to build here. Are these what I think they are? They're glow shrooms! Yes! Oh my god, what are you doing here? No! Go away! Oh my god, I finally killed one of those things. I've never been able to kill one. Not in my entire career of Minecraft. I never could figure out how to kill those things. Apparently you have to sneak up on them. It is a blaze. What in the blazes are you doing here? Die. You'll need to die. Oh my god. I really do need some form of fire resistance if I'm going to make a house here. I mean, I'm going to build it in creative mode, of course, but um, I need to find some materials to build it out of. 
The only thing I can find around here that would be remotely suitable is, um, nether brick. Come to think of it, I have no idea- oh my gosh. Look at all those babies on its back. Oh, it's hostile. It is hostile. It needs to go. Bye. See you next time, never. Oh my god, I think I've finally found a fortress. I never find these. Well, I actually have in a few other games. What the f*** am I saying? Oh my god, look at all those withers. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, those are withers. Those other things were just regular skeletons. Yes, I've got a wither skull. Oh no, this was a bad idea. This was a bad, bad, bad idea. Oh my god, is there a spawner somewhere around here? Oh my gosh, more withers, more withers, more withers. Oh, this is a nether fortress. Of course there are spawners. Look at all those ghosties over there. They're called wraiths. Right. Oh my gosh. You cannot be cereal. Okay. Did I get a rod out of that? Oh no. I know that sound. It's not a fun sound. Oh my gosh! A wither! Hello, wither! Another wither! Oh my gosh. Die! They're huge! I'm on top of another fortress. Are you kidding me? Two fortresses in one day? What are the odds? And there's a blaze shooting at me from some unidentified sort. Not unidentified, they're over there! Oh my freaking gosh. I need to hightail it back to my... back to my house. Wait, blaze rod. Wait, my wings are acting. <gasps> are you hostile? Are you hostile? No, you're a good horse. You're a very good horse. He's just happy to see me. What are you wearing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Pigman the Barbarian. Oh, criminy. I'm going to die. Before I've even gotten a green glow shroom. Ah, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Die. Oh! I was right frickin' there! Oh. Okay, I need to go fishing for a while for fuel. And I shall get right back to you guys. So now I have, an, uh, I have a whole assortment of fish here that I need to cook. And I think I have a new way to do it. Since the oven didn't work out, I installed a mod called the Better Furnaces mod. So I'm going to need some iron. And I'm going to get rid of one of these furnaces to test this out. So you put a furnace in and surround it by iron. And you get an iron furnace! Let's see how this works. Fantastic! Although, what other kinds of furnaces can we get? What can a diamond furnace do? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's get rid of some of these furnaces and experiment with them. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Right, I need me obsidian, and I need me diamonds. All I have to do is put a furnace in, first surround it with obsidian, and nothing. How do you make the obsidian furnace? Oh, you need the iron furnace for this. Oh, right. Excuse me, sir, I require your services. Now then, we put that furnace in there and surround it with obsidian. And we have the obsidian furnace. What can the obsidian furnace do? Yes! Oh my freaking gosh, yes! Put some coal in here. We put the fishies in here. And see what this does. Oh my freaking gosh, are you serious? It's cooking everything! Oh my gosh, what does the diamond do? Okay, we need a gold furnace. Okay, um... Okay, what I need to do is get a hold of my gold. Which is around here somewhere. Here we go. And I'm assuming I have to surround a furnace in gold to get the gold furnace. Correct? Incorrect. I have to surround an iron furnace in gold. I see how this is. You know what? Just do the whole dang thing. Now I've got three iron furnaces. One surrounded by gold. We got the gold furnace. And then surround that with diamond. We get the diamond furnace! Alright, let's see what this baby can do. <gasps> Are you kidding me? The diamond furnace is even better than the obsidian furnace. 
You all, I cannot believe how great this diamond furnace is. I am going to catch so many fish. Oddly enough, I have been getting constant repeats of this fish for some odd reason. I can't even tell you why. I also obtained a hot dog hat. So let's see how I look. Oh, it, uh, it looks really weird with the helmet on, but we're just going to roll with it. Now, I am going to go and look around for ideas. And my first idea is definitely not that. That is ugly. Hello. Drop an egg. Come on, drop an egg. Be nice. Yes. I have a manticore egg. A fire manticore egg. I can have my own fire manticore now. I wonder what this is. I don't really understand. Let's find out. Um, oh, what is it? Bone block? <gasps> I, can get I can get bone meal for this. What could possibly be big enough to drop bones like this? Then again, I think ghasts' legs are this big, right? I'm picking up dead ghasts. This is interesting. In my revenge, I shall take their bones. For it is the will of causality. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I just... Heard it too much while playing Danganronpa. Oh man, I see another fortress. I kind of want to loot it, but I know that I may die. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I hear something. Hello, little creature. Oh, you hurt. You must die. Oh my gosh. Die. God, this is creeptastic. What the heck? Oh, he's giving me wither. Oh my gosh, I need to eat something. I really, really, really need to eat something. <gasps> oh my god, that could have not been disastrous, because I've got wings! Why is that there? It's like a staircase to nowhere. Where am I? The Winchester Mansion? What the hell? <gasps> Chest! Give me something good! A cyan rune. Okay, well, not too bad, not too bad. Flint and Tinder. I don't really need that. Um, saddle. Sure, why not? I think those are better than a crafted saddle. And another one of these. Um, nether warts. Yes, sure. They look like staves. Also, I got another saddle. Yes, nether wart. I can make a farm. <gasps> and another chest. What's in here? Flint and Tinder. No, thank you. What other good stuff can we find around here? Certain death. If I didn't have wings. Heh <laughs> Nice try, nether dungeon. Now, all I need to do is find a good place to put my new house. My new getaway home. In hell. <gasps> Blue fire? Is Rin Okumura here? What the hell is this? I must know more. Why is this blue fire? Why, why is there blue fire here? Is this just how fire works on ash? I, I don't know. Silver skeletons, yes, I need your stuff. Oh crap, uh, die. Please give me a so silver sword. Dang it, did any of them give me a silver sword? No, 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 that's a stone sword. Oh wow, uh, blue fire. Wait, what the? What, what's going on? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, shoot. Uh, what have I got? Curse! This is cursed fire! Oh, dang. I kind of want to put it in my house because it's pretty. But, uh, oh my gosh. Thank goodness I'm not cursed anymore. Oh! Rato! Aha! Oh, shoot. Gotcha, 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 gotcha! Oh! Oh, you're hostile! Oh my god, I thought you were friendly! <gasps> Silver skeleton! I must kill you! No, 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 die! Die! You need to die! No. Did it give me what I needed? How are you not dying by the lot? Okay, it just despawned. Thank you! Now I have a chance to check and see if my inventory does not have a silver sword. I just wanted a freaking silver sword. So I can fight werewolves. Because apparently in this updated version of the mod pack, you need silver swords from those silver skeletons, and they cannot be crafted. 
you have to kill a silver ske- Oh my god, no! Die! Hello, ghosty! What's this? I don't know. I'll check on it as soon as I'm out of danger. And by out of danger, I mean out of this hellhole. <gasps> mushrooms! Mushrooms, so many mushrooms. This is so interesting. I don't even know what all this is. Is this like nether mycelium? Okay, this one is going to be dark purple and it is going to be nether shroom land. Oh, and also I am getting rid of all of my deaths. So I am going to build a house in the nether and I will contact you guys as soon as I am done. Several song filled hours later. And now I have finished building the house inside the nether and this is what it looks like. I decided to go for a pagoda because I thought it looked, you know, kind of charming compared to, you know, how the nether is. And I made sure to choose the coloration very carefully. I chose ebony wood for the base and the wooden parts. Also for these bits right here. And I chose red terracotta because of the swirl design in this texture pack. And the red just brings it out all that much more. The door is of course... Um, Bloodwood. It has like this jack-o'-lantern-y kind of face on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. And it's got on the bottom, I guess what looks like, um, I don't know, scratches or claw marks, whatever. And I called this Hades Town because while I was building this, I was listening to the soundtrack from Hades Town, the musical, and it just stuck. So we're going to call this Hades Town because, you know, we're in hell right now, so that kind of makes a lot of sense. So now what we want to do is fill that place up with items that'll make it feel a lot more homely. My Nintendo Wii. <laughs> that'll be cute. Let's definitely put that in. We also need a big screen TV. And of course an AC unit because it's hot as hell in hell. Cat clock because those are annoying. Fire alarm, you know, just in case the place catches fire which it tends to do because of the blazes. Arcade cabinet. Never saw that before. Oh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. That'll be that'll be a cool thing to hang up in there. Uh, Tron. I guess that kind of kind of suits. Ghostbusters. Yes. Soda machine in case they get thirsty and a vending machine in case they get hungry. Gay pride. Why not? Might as well go for the trans one too because gender neutrality. Why not? Now that we have an inventory full of useless random stuff, oh, uh, I guess we should go to sleep before we venture to the nether. Yep, that's the only way it can go. Alright, well, we'll just set that there. And the chair can go on the end, like right here. Ah, dang it! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Whoops! Right, so the vending machines are small enough that they can go here. At least I think. <laughs> I keep doing that. Oh my gosh. These elevators are a little, uh, wonky. Oh, it can go there. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, great. Now for this one. Um, yes. This place is going to be a little crowded, but that's okay. The posters. Nightmare Before Christmas. I shall set it there. Ooh. That actually really works out. Actually, I think that can go upstairs. Let's do Tron down here. Yes, it fits the video game aesthetic a little bit. And of course, Ghostbusters, because there are ghosts that spawn in the nether. And since we have a Ghostbusters poster in here, it notifies all the ghosts around the nether that this house is not to be trifled with. And they'll be too terrified to even enter. And of course, Nightmare Before Christmas will go here. No, something is in the way. There. Air conditioning, yes. We must have central AC around here. Now then, the fire alarm should probably be set somewhere around here. Like right there. Or... Would it be better if I put it close to the door? That would make a lot of sense. And the cat clock can, of course wag here. Oh my god, it actually wags! Oh my freaking gosh! 
Oh my god, I knew it sounded like ghosts. There are ghosts around here, jeez, this poster needs to do its job. At least it's keeping them away from the house. Yeah, that is one crowded mess of a house. I am very ashamed of what I've built right now. Now, on the outside, we need to notify that this place is LGBT friendly. So, um, uh, not there, you say. Ah, there we go. There. Don't know why there's brown and black on a on a rainbow flag, but uh, to each their own, I guess. And the trans flag. Yes. Oh my god. Did I set off a booby trap in my own house? What the heck was that? I hear a ghast. I gotta I gotta run away. Gotta run away. Ah, safe and sound. God, it is so dangerous around here. Now, I'm not exactly sure where particularly to place a bed. Mostly because when you try to put a bed down in the nether, this is what happens. Huh? Oh, you have to try to sleep in it. So that's when that happens. You, you see? You saw what hap- Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die from demonstrating something to you. Oh no. Oh, just nearly. So now you guys see why I don't put a bed in the nether. I've played that joke on many, many people who were just starting out in Minecraft. And I guess now I'm paying for it. Yeah, because originally my friend wanted me to build a house in the nether to actually live in the nether, but that's kind of why you can't really live in the nether, because you can't sleep in the nether. So you all are coming with me to your new home. Yes, I do know the way. It is this way. And this way. And, uh, I don't know. This way? Alright, come on. Let's go. Finally, they get to be relocated to their new home. And they can stop bothering me with the ridiculous questions. Um... There we go! He's on the sofa! What about you? Oh god. Uh... Whoops. <gasps> oh no 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 Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible! Oh my god, and he saw everything. Oh my god, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. You can tell how traumatized he was by seeing that. Oh my god, I'm a terrible mother. I I'm a terrible father. Oh my god. That was... That was not good. Nishkit. I need to go get another one. Oh my god, this stuff is... This stuff fills for hunger. Don't mind if I do. Man, this stuff fills up more hunger than anything. Way is definitely good. Thank you, Knuckles. I, I now know Dewey. Now, I am on the quest for another Knuckles. I never thought it would be so hard to find another Knuckles. <gasps> never mind! Right here! You'll see what I have? No. Wait. Did I feed him? <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, I have tamed him. Okay, you are coming with me. You will receive the blessing of the devil. Oh my god. Here's a blue one. Yes. Yes. We shall go to, uh... Um... Well, not Uganda. Um... We're going way down Hades Town. Way down under the ground. Okay, Knuckles. You sit here. Okay, great. And here's another blue one. Yes. He's good. He's seated. Now you two behave like good little knuckles. And don't go outside, it's hell out there. I thought it also might be cool to show you guys that um, there are some biomes here in the nether that are actually mycelic. Myceliac? Mycelic? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. But um, there's some netherrack mixed with mycelium and it grows mushrooms and I just basically expanded it a little bit. And I was able to build this majestic pagoda on top of it so also i like how this texture pack makes the mycelium look it looks kind of like a fleur de lis a little bit now i must destroy this because he threatens my knuckles oh i got another egg huh 
do they celebrate after you get a victory? I guess they saw that. Uh, I need to teleport away. To get away from the way. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any ideas or something that you want me to try and attempt to do, please do let me know in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys in the next episode.